It has been suggested by good meaning, if not well informed people, that we could just solve this whole moon landing business by simply pointing a telescope at the moon and looking for the lunar landers. Unfortunately, there is no such telescope that can find something so minutely small on the moon's surface. Not even the Hubble Space Telescope was meant for such fine detail. However, the imagination of the NASA engineers have left us a legacy and a solution using nothing so complicated as this. The Apollo astronauts emplaced arrays of special mirrors on the moon. Reflectors made by French scientists were also put on the moon by the Soviet Lunokhod vehicles. When a laser beam from Earth strikes one of these mirrors and bounces back, the round-trip travel time can be measured. At the McDonald Observatory of the University of Texas, a laser beam is prepared for firing at the reflectors on the moon, 380,000 kilometers away. Dr. Carl Sagan is obviously proud of these reflectors, and he should be, for when you think about it, this is extraordinary. A laser is shot from Earth and makes a round trip of over half a million miles. It can be targeted from any observatory on the planet equipped with one. Most especially, observatories in Hawaii, Australia, Greece, and France still use the reflectors to this very day, 25 years after their placement. In fact, nearly any observatory can target any of these reflectors, for NASA has made no secret whatsoever of exactly where they are at the landing sites of Apollos 11, 14, and 15. These reflectors have led to discoveries flat out impossible without them. We've discovered that the moon is drifting away from the Earth at a speed measured in feet per century, that the moon has a liquid magma core, just like the Earth does, and we confirm that the moon was indeed struck by a huge asteroid 800 years ago, as recorded by Canterbury monks in the 11th century. Now, I suppose the hoax believers will say that our laser re reflectors were landed on the moon the same way that the Russians were, via robot landers. Even though those same reflectors left by the Russians are unstable, never used due to improper placement by those landers. But I don't suppose you'd ever hear the hoax believers mention anything like that, now, would you?